Hi, this is Trish, also known as Nana Teeth Treasures. Hey, doing a vlog again today because it's gorgeous out. It's fall, the leaves are changing. It's almost prime time right now. So let's go look at them and take my dog for a walk and check it out. Be right back. Don't go away. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Okay, let's get this collar off. And let's put on your other fucking collar. Nope, sit, 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 sit. I know you're excited. Sit, come on, sit. Come on, let's go for a walk. Okay. There you go. Yeah, we're going, we're going. Going, 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 come on. Come on, let's walk through the garden. Not through the garden. The garden is tilled up. Nothing left making it to a compost. Throw in some scraps. Making it good. Beautiful day today. Yes, it's a beautiful day today. Don't pull. Walk nice. Hey, hey, no pulling. You have to heal. 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 <laughs> good girl. Heel. Sit. Sit. Good, job. Good girl. Good girl. Look at those colors of the foliage. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at how beautiful. Let's walk up a little bit. And then we'll walk down. Okay. Check out the colors up here better than down there. We already have gone up this way. Talked about my neighbors in other videos. On this side, this end, we'll go back down. Talk about uh, the other side. All the family that lives around us. White House up there was the sister to the lady that lived in this red house here. The person in the brown house, he is the son of the man and woman that live in this red house. So that White House up there would be his aunt. She passed away, somebody new moved in up there in the White House. They still live in the brown house, him and his wife, Walt Churchy and Kathy. And she passed away in the Red House, but he still lives there. He's the one that, he's 93. And he still gets around. Yeah, he's gone now. He drove, look at his yard. He keeps his yard beautiful. He does that. 93, has trouble walking, but he does it. Now there's a view. Look at that awesome view. Look at that. Yeah, very, very, very fortunate and blessed to have such beauty. Boy, the colors, almost another few days. And more of that green will be gone, of course. That's when it will be really prime. This week and coming up next week, like I said in another video, my anniversary, that's why I got married this time of year, because it's so pretty. And my anniversary actually will be on Wednesday. This Wednesday, yep, that's right guys, October 14th, our wedding anniversary day. And we will be married for 42 years. That is a number four in a number two, 42. Best thing ever happened. Ooh, I got packages on my porch. That's my house. My little brick ranch. My dream home. Yeah, see those front windows? The side ones? That's where there's screens. The center one is just glass. You can't get through, but the side ones open up and actually there's screens. And that was in the summer before we got central air put in, air conditioning. That's one of the reasons why we did too, because that kid broke in the window on the right. 
just that was open because it was a hot summer night so we had the window open just the screen and he was able to squeeze through there and just push the screen in and help himself right into our house and hubby woke up and when he came out in the living room saw the screen was broken out and thought huh must have been windy during the night and the wind knocked it and then he's like no it couldn't be that bad so he went walking around and our spare bedroom is the first window that you see next to the door and there was come on car's coming and sit and in that bedroom was a guy sleeping in the bed no clothes on butt naked and oddly enough in that same room is where the gun safe is at in the closet big metal gun safe so he had to go in there open that up and get out his gun big shotgun i guess got that out the guy never woke up he was still sound asleep until my husband nudged him with the gun when he nudged him with the gun yeah he woke up and he was scared to death i guess anybody would be if you woke up and they're staring down a gun barrel so uh, come to find out i won't make it a long story Boy, there's a lot of traffic today, and there's usually no traffic on this road. Again, look at that beauty. That is so freaking beautiful. God give us this beautiful, beautiful. I don't know if you can see on the video the windmills up there yet. I know in the last video you couldn't see, but there's actually windmills up there. What is with all the traffic? Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Okay, I can't sing. Victoria can sing. I wish I could sing. So when the guy woke up and staring down and my husband seen he was naked, he told him to get his damn shorts on, whatever. So he did. In the meantime, I'm in bed and I hear some shuffling going on. And got up and the first thing you have to do when you go get up is of course go to the bathroom so I went out of my the bedroom went to the bathroom sitting on the bathroom go and pee and I hear somebody talking and I'm thinking who the heck is here this early in the morning so I had to reach over kind of push the door closed till I finished when I finished I come out and went into the bedroom and there he is standing there pointing a gun at this guy I'm like what is going on so yeah he was in our house and his story was that he was up the road, up that way, way up that way, past that electric substation, and he was at a bachelor party. He left the bachelor party and supposedly he lives down this road, way down at the end of this road, which is an easy five minute drive down the bottom of this road, and said that he was walking home. And he got so far and he got tired. He didn't want to make it. Now, mind you, he's drunk, drunk off his rear end. So he decided, he said, to turn around and come back and go to the house with the party. Supposedly, he thought that's where he was, back at the house where the party was when he broke into our house. No, not so much. Needless to say, I don't know when it happened or what had happened, but uh, yeah, my husband's like, no, get your crap on and get out. And I should say that, yeah, he told me to call 911 immediately, he said. Before I even knew all that, he said, call 911. I said, why? What is going on? Wait a minute. So, don't worry, and that's when I heard the story of blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not calling 911. That's just stupid. Get 911 involved. He, oh, he was mad. He said, Call him. I said, No, let's just fit, get him out of here and be done. He'll be gone. Because, you know, you never know. Maybe he could retaliate. 
once he gets out of jail or whatever and come back and do more harm or damage, who knows, but as I'm talking to him more and sitting down and I could tell the kid was scared, shitless, needless to say, literally, I'm thinking, um, I thought, you know what, he's a dumb kid. He was maybe 18. He was drunk at a party, didn't know what he was doing. I've been stupid drunk in my day. Yeah, truthfully. So yeah, I said, no, let's just let him go. So here's one kicker. <laughs> yeah, this is one kicker. Once everything was all said and done, I guess he knew he was getting the cops called on him and we told him to get his butt out, get out, get out now. He turned around and looks at my husband and he says, hey, can you do me a solid? Could you just give me a ride home? I just lived down the road. <laughs> ah, that kid, he's lucky he didn't get his head blown off right then and there. My husband put the gun back up and said, leave now before I pull this trigger. So the kid did, he got his stuff and he left. And that was that. So I thought that was that. And then, after all that and he left, I go sit down in my favorite spot that I like to sit on, on our sectional couch. I'm sorry, not the couch, the um, rocker. I think, yeah, the rocker. Anyways, I sit down and touch it and guess what guys? It's wet, yep. The kid, that's why he was naked. He pissed all over my furniture. Sit there. I'm sure he sat there, passed out, and just pissed himself and all over my furniture. Then I was really pissed. And Hobby was so mad because we didn't call the police. So I had to steam clean it like three times, scrub it. And that was not to my satisfactory even so I said no nope, we ain't keeping this furniture I'm buying new furniture so yeah I bought new furniture <laughs> and the cops were never called and it was all fine and well so I got new furniture and hubby installed air conditioning so now when it's so hot in the summer we don't need windows open we just have them all locked and shut and turn the air on. But it wasn't a bad thing. I, it didn't scare me. I didn't feel violated. I don't know. I'm so easy going with people and give people the benefit of the doubt all the time. It's just a dumb kid partying. Then we heard later, a month or so, that yeah, not sure why, but he ended up in jail. We're thinking that wind. Hope that's not bothering you. We're thinking that he was in an empty house at the end of this road and he was squatting. Is that what that's called? Being there where you're not really allowed. There's a family that lives in there now. I've never seen the kids since, so that's what I'm thinking. All right, since we're this far down, boy, I hope that wind isn't that loud. Sometimes I watch videos and the wind outside can be so loud. Back to the family and we're living on this road. So we have the White House is the one woman, sister to the lady in the Red House. The lady and those two women are cousins to the man that lives in this house, in this red brick house. And um, his last name is Hunt. Owen Hunt and actually he just passed away last month his wife still lives there and he's the founder of uh, what you want to say like Beverly Hillbilly struck oil struck oil up on top of this mountain so the Hunt family yeah they have bunny so that's him and nice house beautiful home I've been inside there when she got her kitchen done she invited me in first time I ever met her <laughs> And he is brother to the man that lives in this house. This nice, big, beautiful home. And this guy's name is Bill. Bill Hunt, and he is a farmer. That is our farmer, Bill. 
and he farmed. He farmed, that's his barn across the street. He owns all that. He owns all the way up to, oh, now you can't see, clear up to that house up there. He owns the field from here all the way up to my house. The field across from my house, he owns all of that. He owns over, well over, like, I don't know, 200 acres, I don't know. I, I have no idea, but yeah, a lot of property. We first moved here, funny thing is, he used to have peacocks walking around, free around here, the, his yard here, peacocks. He has beautiful flowers. And now he is up there, he's in his 90s also, doesn't get around anymore, and he doesn't do the farm anymore, he can't because he barely can walk and he is pretty much blind. So his son did it for a while and I know his daughter comes and helps out a lot. But his son, I guess, kind of gave up the farming too. And I don't know the whole story of who's doing it now. But this is his farm, the barn. We have cars coming both ways now, come on. Good girl. Okay. And that's a nice farm, nice barn. This is where we used to come when I first lived, first moved here. Come down here and get vegetables. Man, they're good vegetables. He pretty much just give them to you. People would drive here from all over just to pick up his vegetables. He still has a sign on his door when his hours were to open. He was only open for Monday through Friday from one o'clock starting till whenever he was done, usually only about an hour or two hours. Then on Saturday, opened at 11 just for like two hours, maybe an hour and closed on Sunday. He would go to church and believe no work on Sunday, but let me tell you what, Monday through Saturday, he was out in these fields before the sun came up and he worked these fields till long after the sun went down. And look at all that old farm equipment, kind of just going to waste. It's kind of sad how things change. Pick up trucks back there and his son, who kind of did farming for a while, there's some cows back there. Um, he's a hoarder, actually. <laughs> you should see his house. And he lives down at the end of this road, way down. And <clears throat> I go past his house and see his front porch and every day, it's, well, there's so much stuff on it now, I don't think you can put anything else on it. Love to go through that place. <laughs> I'd be in heaven. That would be pretty sweet. Okay, girl, what do you say we walk back now? So that's all the family. Lots of relatives all right here and down the road some. Cousins and brothers and sisters. And they all lived here and we moved in and we actually bought our house off of one of the brothers, his brother. That's who we bought our house from. And um, so we're in the middle of all the family and we're just like, we were adopted in. Love these people. Could not ask for better neighbors. Actually take care of you, watch out for you, do anything for you. Like I said, come home from work. And there would be, <laughs> couple bags of uh, vegetables sitting in front of my garage door that he brought down from his farm and just left for me. And that don't count the times I would come down and buy, get a dozen corn, dozen tomato, cucumbers, whatever. He would say, yeah, I told old three dollars. <laughs> like, Bill, no, here, take 10 at least. And I should have been paying 20. We'd argue, no, 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 but I always would win. I would say, I'm not taking it if you don't take more money. So, what a sweetheart. 
good, good men, good neighbors. And that's the story of, since we've been here, over 20 years we've lived at this house. And I'm going uphill, so I'll probably be breathing heavy soon. Okay. That's the story that I gave you, a couple different stories. And let's play some music. Fast forward till we get back closer to my house. Okay, just to pause here for a moment. Another, another gorgeous view. I hear a plane, the plane up above. The plane. So this is, like I said, the one brother, Owen Hunt. And he had his little garden, this little area. You can tell was dug up. It's different than that full field there. But that was his little, Spot, so he owned that. And his brother Bill, down there, the farmer, he owned them and did farming. He did this field from right here, say like this telephone pole, all the way up to my house almost, to my yard. And he did own all of this. And, oh yeah, I forgot to say, the woman in the white house here. The woman in that white house up there, she was the sister to the brothers, Owen and Bill the farmer. Yeah, so she was the sister. And she went into a nursing home about three months ago. She also was 90 something. And the people that bought her house um, are her I think great-grandchildren, I wanna say her great-grandchildren bought it. So it's still in the family. And that's that, and before we go back to music, if you like this, watch my other videos. I'll post a link up above, there, 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 somewhere. And do me a favor, a lot of people are watching my videos and they're not subscribing. You can subscribe, hit that button, hit subscribe. You'll be subscribed to my channel. It's free, nothing required to do, but come back every now and then, watch my videos, and you see that bell next to subscribe, hit that. Hit the top one, ding, 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 so you'll be notified when I do upload videos. I do videos on reselling. I am a reseller on eBay mostly. I do have a lot of videos on house clean out. I did a couple of house clean outs. I've done videos on cooking, a couple crazy cooking videos. They're pretty funny. And vlog every now and then when I can. I was gonna do them every day, but that's too much work. Too hard until I can go live anyways, because I have to upload a video, do some editing. If I go live, that'd be great. Can't do that till I get to 1,000 subscribers. So do me a favor, if you're watching this, you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps with my channel, with the content, and me. I appreciate it very much. Okay, let's get back to some music. Vlogging. What are you doing, Farmer Dave?
cars, cars, cars. Yeah, this road is so busy today, I don't know why. What a beautiful day though. Very nice. Well, I'm going to end this video now. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the beauty. It's supposed to be pretty nice for a few more days, maybe another week. Be able to get maybe a couple more of these gorgeous scenes and watch the foliage as it really changes more and more beautiful colors. So enjoy this as I close out this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate y'all. Bye.